Good evening, everyone. You know what? I've been wondering why can I not say like good evening or something like that to Orion because he gets up and gets in my face. And I think now because he does have a command that lets him say hi to people when we tell him to. And I think it sounds similar, so that's why he gets up. So I already said my hi to you guys. I said my salutations to you guys. He knows what I'm talking about, man. Okay, I have calmed him now. Hey guys, I'm back. Oh my goodness, where have you been, Janice? Oh, it has been a long journey. And probably the main question is, why did you stop? A lot was hitting me. Like, some negative, maybe more negative. So I was like, I just can't vlog during this time. It's just... It was a lot on me, mentally, physically, so, yeah, sorry about that, guys, really. But I do keep my Patreons up to date. I tell them the biggest things that are happening in my life, so they are getting that. Anyway, like I said, just life got in the way. That was the best way Paul described it yesterday, just life. And, oh, uh, it's hitting me hard. Just a couple things that have been going on, and I think there's going to be different vlogs to say part one part two part three and in one of those vlogs i'm gonna give you guys already a hint i have been diagnosed and i talk about my diagnosis <gasps> what for my abdominal pain yeah what let's see which vlog i put that in or talk about it so this vlog is all about my pup so the first thing i'm not gonna say the first thing one of the things that happened was orion sadly i don't know if i updated you guys i don't even remember what i told you guys recently but uh his dew claws uh got infected his dew claws were really bad and swollen and it took us forever just because of the vet and their opinion to get him to fix the situation so it's been a couple of months since orion's been out for the first month, the reason why we probably didn't take him out is because he was limping. And we would take him to the vet, they would give him antibiotics, and they were like, oh, he's good, he'll be fine now. They did it to us like two to three times, and at the last time, uh, Paul was like, I told Paul, I was like, you gotta get his energy out, please. So Paul went to play fetch with him. After playing fetch for no more than five minutes, Orion was limping. And, you know, Paul brought him in, and Paul said you know what maybe his nail is a little bit long try to cut it and see all right let me check it out so i looked and uh, i started you know cutting it down a little it didn't need much and instantly a fountain that was a big exaggeration it just started coming out pus and blood and i was like this is it this is done he needs to get them cut because the vets did not want to uh take away his dew claw and that's perfectly fine they wanted to give him a chance to fight this off whatever it was nah so we went in and the vet actually said he was like this is the worst i've ever seen a dew claw it's swollen it's pussy it's this and that like oh poor guy i felt bad for ryan even after we agreed on surgery the vet still wanted to wait two weeks with antibiotics before he got the surgery to see if it cleared up and we already scheduled it. We were like, fine, he's going to have to wait that day no matter what. <laughs> this feels like it's been going on for like three months, this issue. Anyway, he got them out. I was so happy. I was just like, he needs to be a dog again. But the healing process was not easy just because Paul had to carry him up and down the stairs. And this dog ain't, you know, light. Now, the healing process was also uh, nerve-wracking for me because the vet said, in five days, come back and we'll be able to take out the stitches, depending on how he heals. Sounds great. He, he had to have the s stitches and keep his paws bandaged up for a, a little bit longer than usual, which made me nervous because another thing the previous vet said the possibility that it's infected there is something that he may have so it was kind of kind of making me worry like oh my god he can't heal right for some reason what's wrong so that did worry me but he finally got them out so that's good but we had to go another time because we didn't get all the stitches out 
so that was a lot. He only has one restriction. He's allowed to get his paws wet, do whatever he wants, but he still cannot wear boots to two to three weeks. So it is actually starting to get hot here, so it's been still hard to take him out, like, but it's important for him to heal, so I've been chilling at home a lot more and then with the surgery I think I was in the house I didn't leave the house for like two weeks straight so that's one of the things that has been giving me a lot of stress and I don't need stress I don't need to be worried about anything because uh, already my health is something to worry about so I like to think of it as that I'm a cup I'm already full just one little drop and I'm just like panicking like oh my god what are we gonna do? The world is ending. Oh, it's just, it's been rough. It's really, really been rough. So guys, that is it for this first vlog. Check out, I think there could be like two to three more vlogs talking about my health, because you guys have missed a lot. So, God, it's my fault. Like, I can't blame it on you guys. I would love to, really can't. So guys, like I always say, for now, adieu and goodbye. Bye.